Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here, and we're off for more Banjo Kazooie. And in the last episode, we gained the big barge. Uh, no, the big bomb attack, excuse me. I was about to say big barge. We already have that in the start of the game. From 3CC Peak, so that we can dive bomb while we're flying, so that we can actually finish off Gobi's Valley, which has the boots, the sprint shoes, that we're able to use in order to beat 3CC Peak. So we've kind of entered 3CC Peak already, but we haven't done anything there. We didn't grab anything. We just made our way to Gobi's Valley after we opened that up. But I am on Dev's door. <laughs> well, not exactly. Because uh, I was getting miles handed to me. I was not able to find enough wellies to do certain things in order to grab stuff in the liquid sand. So I just kind of tanked the damage even after having boots to try and grab them all. Yeah, didn't exactly work out well. But now that we have the sprint shoes, we can actually get back now. I've grabbed that health. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie. I like this very fast version of the song. It's actually pretty good. How long was this actually last for? Not enough to get to where I need to be. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's go grab some, uh... Oh, God, I'm just going all over the place. That's fine. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go grab all these notes. Uh, grab these two on here, actually. That would probably be best. Okay, that is not what I wanted to do. My God. No, don't. We'll just walk up. They're trying to jump up. Okay, never mind. I'm jumping up anyway. I still slipped off as Kazooie. Okay. There we go. That was more janky than it needed to be. And this. Aha! We've got 10 seconds to enter, but there's also a honeycomb switch behind. We'll deal with that in a bit. And I just landed. Almost landed in the liquid sand. Never mind. I went down the wrong side. I did grab the notes. That's fine. Too sure why this even has a time limit, honestly. There, now I've gone the right way. It's ticking down before we even get to the door. I think that's cheating. We also did um, the, the uh, sandy butt temple where the um, ceiling lands on you if you're not quick enough. But that's also where we found the grunty switch, so that's cool. Got another mumbo token. Only got, I think, two more left to find, so we've almost got them all already in this level. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I just attack you normally? No, I just knock you down. I need to kill you properly, and the only way to kill the immortal is to be unhurtable. Unfortunately, it doesn't drop any health for us, but we've got a matchy puzzle to do. This is a classic staple of old collectible platformers. That's a kazooie. That's a banjo! That's a pear! Come on! Don't be like that. Right, that's an egg. Ah, mumbo. Mumbo, mumbo, way. It's this one, isn't it? Nope, that's a feather. That's good to know. Right. That's a pear. I forget where the feather was already. That's a yellow Jinjo. That's a honeycomb. Yep, there we go. Right next to each other. Like that. Ah, honeycomb. Smack that one. That's Kazooie. Uh, so, uh, Kazooie was this one. Banjo! That's on the Kazooie face! That's a note. We haven't found the other note yet. Let's try this one. That's an Iggy! We'll go get the Iggies. Right, your feather. This one was a feather? Yes, it was. What was the last one? It was the note. And here it is. I was hoping to be in the middle of the room when that spawned, so I could grab it immediately. No worries, we got the jiggy. Aha! Flip for celebration. And I believe that's literally all that was in that... Actually, hang on. <laughs> Walk back in as the door is shutting. Uh, that was everything, right? Yeah, it was everything. Everything was on the floor. It's good. Alright, let's go hit that uh, honeycomb switch behind this period. Oh, well. <laughs> I was bamboozled! Black that. Aha! So that's what you're there for. Pretty odd considering that you're alive and yet you don't speak to me when I approach you. Thankfully it's not on a time limit so we can take our time to fly in a flight pad. Um, just gonna take a flight of fancy hit. Oh mate, nailed that one. Doesn't even take you all the way out but hey, at least I'm flying so that's cool. Don't need to worry about the uh, little jinxes in order to 
because we've already done that. Fly up a bit. There we go. Got it. And there's some sprint shoes right here. You know what? Since we're here, we'll do it now. So, those were the wellies I tried to use to grab everything around, well, the murder temple. Right, so what we need to do is grab these, ignore you, step on this switch, we don't need to pound it, and we just need to run all the way up and get into that hole before the timer runs out. But the problem is the timer's already ticking before we can even get moving, which is dumb. Make sure your movement is fine, and worry about the collective balls later, or if you do fail. I say as I grab them, but if I sweep around them, I'm not going to stress too much. Well, <laughs> ever so slightly slow. Bronte's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Uh, I was using faster feet. I think after the first time you press the button, that it doesn't show you that the door opens, so you might have a little bit more time that way. I would definitely make it then. Let's just test that theory. No, it has to show you every time. I don't like that. Wait, if I step on the switch again... No, the timer doesn't reset. That's dumb. I don't like that. And that was just rude. So, let's get rid of you. Uh, can I grab that, please? I kind of need it. <laughs> Even though I've already opened up two um, beehives on this one life. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe I should try and jump after I press the button. That might be what I need to do. Let's try cutting the corners. Do that as well. Aha! This is what we do. Oh, look at that! Straight in. What are you going O for? <laughs> you made it in. You silly bear. It's because the, they actually ran out. Oh, hello there. Grab that before we uh, drain the water. There we go. I knew there was something. Alright, so what do we do here? Well, let's dive. Let's gr just grab the jiggy on this weird looking face. Oh. We'll just ever so slightly do this. And circle around it apparently because I'm terrible. I always struggle trying to grab stuff underwater in these 3D clipped on platforms. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we could have just filled the reservoir up. I did it the hard way. But that does mean that those flying pads are no longer useful, so... Mixed bag, I guess? I legit completely forgot about that. <laughs> it's fine, though. I lived. I got, I got them all anyway. Also, it's probably a lot easier to just run and grab them than it is to... Um, swim into them because it will take longer so I guess you want to go slow and methodical or you want to go fast and painful at least I'm at max health and I've got everything anyway so I can't be too mad that don't do nothing also I hear mystical sounds but there's nothing here Now, if you want to raise the water back up, you're going to have to leave the level and then come back in to reset. Remember that the worlds all reset when you leave. So keep that in mind. Yeah, because if I come back down here... Would you stop? They're still there. The pads are still there under the water, but you can't use them. So I've lost easy light spots. Speaking of, um, I need the wellies. So I'm going to do that to grab those, because there's definitely no way to put water in that one. I can't believe I didn't remember about the water. It's like the only water in this level other than the star, so... Oh, we got Rumbles! Rumbles got a jiggy. <laughs> I grabbed the last one. Yeah, boy! Barely made that. Okay, so I think what we've got to do is tippy-toe. Or you could do another idea and uh, fly into it. And grab it that way? That's an idea. Because he baits you. But too slow. No, no, no. No. Might be able to also do it with the uh, the sprint boots. Isn't there a sprint boots again? Oh, they're on the other side of here. Yeah, I remember now. They put them so far away. 
I guess that's just offset the timer of it, but then again, these are probably the longest lasting ones because of what you have to do. I jumped completely over the platform I needed to jump on. Let's go grab these and let's try this. I'm pretty sure you can also fly and grab it, but... Oh, okay. If I took damage from the sand there, I probably wouldn't have been able to... Ah! Yep, you can just do that. No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Then why would you be playing with it? I guess, you know, if you don't have stakes, it would be fun. And after a thousand years, you probably need a little bit of fun in your life. Just saying. You could pick up a copy of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Just saying. Oh boy. Anyways, uh, right. So, we've pretty much done all of the uh, pyramids, actually, except for this one. So, let's go do that. We will need to take flight for this one, unfortunately. We will have to climb up uh, Jinx's head again. So, let's go do that quick. Aha! Probably should have grabbed those uh, golden feathers now, I think about it. Alright, so it's the middle of the screen. I know this now. Because of jankiness. X button! Pound it! And it's open. You can hit either side, but now we just gotta fly in. So what I'm gonna do is just not exactly hurt myself. Wasn't ideal. Wow, really, man? How did I backflip out of that? Uh, can I get on the floor so I can actually go? On? I just saw that platform pop into existence. What is this draw distance? Alright, this is the one, like I said in the last episode, um, check the fourth wall, this is the one I was thinking of. Like I said, these caves look pretty similar. You would not see these notes. That is dirty. Look, look at this. Absolutely dirty. Also, I believe that's all the tokens in this level now. We entered with 21, that was 10, we got 31. All checks out. Also, all 100 notes. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Fair enough. We'll poop in the little pail. Hello there, little snake. Oh, nice. They all they all kind of like bounced off the, to the side and they all went in that way. But yeah, as you can see, it's not always consistent. Ah, oh, a thousand thanks, my friend. Histup will now help you with your quest. Aha! Easy. Yeah, every kind of like character seems to that is an a like a minor animal, like Nubtup, uh, Tiptup, and uh, now it's uh, Istup. There we are. Good plan, good sir. You're pretty cool. And I believe that is everything in this. Okay, that mystical noise is literally just uh, background noise, which keeps throwing me off. Because I think I'm missing something. Alright, so, check our collections here quick, because we are pretty much almost done with this level now. We picked up progress quite a bit. We're still missing half the jiggies, though. Ooh? Ooh. Oh, well, there we go again. I hope that's the closest I've seen you do that now. Okay, the cat. Seriously? The camera did that three times with his bloody body. Good lord. Right, anyways, what I was about to say was, we have basically done all of... Could you not? I'm walking on the floor. Bob Saget, man. We've pretty much done everything on the insides. So now, it's time for us to deal with more of the outside. We haven't done anything with the with trunks at the front, but we haven't done anything with this camel either. There is, yep, there it is. There is a uh, carpet. It stops there. Oh no, that's where it ends. Where does it start? Then? Oh, it just respawns. Okay. I slipped off. Are you kidding me? You know what? No, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to turn the camera. Let's zoom it out a bit, actually. What's my health looking like? I could probably whack that to get some health. I'm just going to grab this and walk over there. So much easier than just trying to land on the bloody um, magic carpet. I'm not doing things in the intended way. I should have enough time to get over. Actually, is there anything in this far corner? No. Okay, let's just cancel this. Uh, there we go. Mm, it's 
too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. All right, no worries, buddy. We'll break that rock for you. Oh, hello there. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Ha ha! We got the jiggy. Now we need to get off this island because there's no other way on getting off. Nope, that's risky. I landed in it anyway. Oh boy, I'm terrible. Come on, over here. I can't exactly risk taking more damage now. I might have to go for the hunt. For oh, you're gonna stay there. Oh, what the heckles? You stuck. You got me stuck. Rude. Okay, so they actually do not. I forgot. That is a bit dickish that they actually become intangible for a moment there. Like, it was too flashing, but that, that time I was able to land on it. But like, you just fall right through. Wait, this is... Okay, it's already been done. I was about to say, it's like, depressed. How did I miss you? Yeah, I've noticed that throughout the game. It's like, if you've already hit a switch, if you come back to the switch... It will be unpressed, but if it has no function, it won't be pressed anymore. It's a little bit weird. They just won't stay depressed, but I guess... Depressed? That sounds really <laughs> weirdly wrong, sorry. Um, but you get what I mean. It's like... It's not pressed anymore. And yet, it doesn't have a function. But I'm guessing because the world... The world's always reset when you re-enter them. From Grunty's Lair to actually entering the level... I guess they, they get reset as well, but if their functionality can only be done once, that's fine, I guess? I'm not entirely too sure. But yeah, I've actually got max lives. You can't go any higher than mine. <laughs> I'm still on the same recording session, by the way. I'm getting two levels done today. I'm feeling very productive. And I'm having a good time. Despite, you know, my gaming skill. Again, I'm not the best to collect on platformers, leave me be. It gives you a decent amount of leeway, though, honestly. Uh, but yes, uh, Gobi was after some shade, so where did we see some shade? Well, the, the Oasis seems like a good one, considering that this dude actually, you know, has a big shadow. Plus, there's plenty of water for this guy. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Can you not just give him some water and then drink some more? Because that's what I'm going to make you do. There we go, stop hogging the water. I just helped you out and you're being rude. Ah, lovely water, Trunker feels great. And Gobi just runs off. <laughs> this is Gobi's Valley, and yet we're bullying him in his own place. Where are you off to? Well, this dude thought this was the perfect Tom Tet and Long Gate. I see there, Meza. <laughs> Gerudo Meza, we're in a desert level. It all comes together. <laughs> Sometimes I make jokes, and I don't even realise the connection until after I've said it. Also, I saw um, Gold Feather, and I want. So I kind of need. And you got half left. It's all the mummies, man. There's no way to kill them. So, Gobi ran off. You'd think that that would be the end, but he didn't actually say anything. Maybe we should go over and say sorry, perhaps. But where is he? Oh, can I bait you out so I can get some help? Thank you. Nice. Give me that. Right. One away from max health. And I didn't climb up there before. Yeah, that's fine. So, you know when we went to get that stop and swap egg? Well, that's where he is. He's right up there. Nope, don't you dare move. This, these don't flash. Why do the other ones flash? Hello. Sorry for bothering you, but, um... You're not talking to me. <laughs> I'll just do that. Well, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. So, it's now just... A valley. It's not Gobi's. There's a life in the corner, I just realised. And I don't even need it. I just got all the... Uh, oh, God. Um, yeah, I got. I just remembered I had to wait for that. <laughs> yeah, there's a life in that corner, but I don't actually need it now. Which is the funniest thing. But we're missing one more jiggy. Oh, what? Need to get off you. There we go. Sorry for the cut. I'm a little bit confused. I only have one jiggy remaining, but I've done everything. I even had to check a list. Did I not grab the Jiggy after doing all the flight? Actually, no, hang on a minute. I can check that. Okay, I had to look at my previous episode's footage, because I haven't edited yet, let's do the same recording session. Uh, remember when I died? I didn't grab the Jiggy after flying through all the statue rings. That's why he's showing up again. 
I thought he just reset along with the level. He probably even does, even if I've, after I have the Jiggy. But I didn't realise I grabbed it. I died, and I just kind of forgot about it because I needed to get some health, and then I got distracted with other stuff. I'm an idiot, uh, so i got to do that again. That's why I was getting confused, because I technically did do it, but I didn't grab the Jiggy. Because I was on my way to get up here to grab it, but then I slipped, fell, landed in the liquid sand, and I was taking damage, and I was almost dead. So I went to go find health, got sniped by an enemy, he dive bombed me, and I died. So I need to go all doing this again. But while looking up where I was missing the Jiggy, because I didn't know what I was missing until I realised that this was the one I missed after checking my own footage back, apparently... These guys' locations, I mean, they're the same, obviously, but the order that they show up is different every file. In fact, it's different every time you load into the file, into the level, excuse me, because he wasn't there before. He was, uh, that was one of the last ones that we had to do. And now he's over there, which was like one of the, uh, well, actually, I think that was the third one anyway, but... One of the things that we had before being behind Jinx was in between the two cacti, but he weren't there this time. So it's different every time the level is loaded. So that's something I never knew, so I will be showing this again, just because of that little tidbit. Because I did actually have trouble finding them, and I thought I knew where they were, and I probably cut around a little bit. But they all are around uh, Jinx, so they're not going to be elsewhere, so... I... And I'm also having a lot less trouble flying through the rings this time, instead of constantly getting stuck on the edges. I don't know what was up with that. that basically, that run on getting the Jiggy was absolutely cursed. Also, you know what? It's bothering me. Let's see if I can actually go grab this by just gliding into it. <laughs> this is dangerous. I'm in danger! I, I'm definitely in danger. I didn't think I was going to be uh, landing on the wall. Why do I do this sort of stuff? But as you saw there, I got that extra life and it didn't really do anything for me. Did it even fully heal me? No, I was already at full health. So yeah, it literally is just a waste of time. So if you do have max lives, I guess take it from me, that won't do anything for you. Also, I need to get rid of these boots so I can actually jump up and fly again. No joke, in the moment, I really thought I already had the Jiggy and that's why I didn't give two thinks about it. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I didn't actually think that I missed this Jiggy. I legit thought I already had it because I made it appear. I was going for it, I died, and that's why I messed up. But now, we have everything. I mean, it can't be perfect, can it? But it's like, you know, we're only human, aren't we? Or in this case, Spare and Bird. Also, I grabbed that while flying, so I didn't actually do like a little dance fanfare thing. And we also have the, um, the stop and swap egg. So we definitely have everything plus in this level. We also got an achievement. So, that's no small feat. Also, I just noticed, look at the texture of that, uh, the, the edge of this platform. Not on the outer edge, like the, 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 the part of the ground I'm walking on right now, that looks fine. Why is that so low res? That looks like Minecraft levels, which is kind of ironic because that's Microsoft as well now, but... That's so weird, why is that so bad? That's like the first thing you see when you load in. Anyways... Once again, no transformation, no mumbo. We're just building up all these tokens, and yet, we can't spend them. Right, so, we all know that these have very low timing, so we just want to keep jumping as much as possible. I actually got quite a lot of distance there, so that's not too bad. But now we can go get this Jiggy in this sarcophagus. In fact, kill you, because you're going to be paying the ass. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop, because I'm going to be using more feathers just to get around the side here. Smack him! Okay, I'm running out of feathers really badly. You know, if I don't want to grind, I guess I could try and have a cheat, but I don't know if that's going to be punishing. So how do we get this? It's quite high up. Well, remember that you can ground yourself as long as you start jumping on... Oh wow, I <laughs> ended up on top. Actually, I think you can clip grab this when in the original by landing on top of this before you open it. There we go! <laughs> But yeah, use the uh, shockwave pad, you jump when you're on the pad, but you can move off the pad so you're grounding yourself. I mean, actually, if you jump, it will move away from you, so you're going to ground yourself anyway, but if you just walk with it and then press A, you'll pretty much jump off it. I say, and I didn't actually jump off it at that moment, but you get what I mean. And now that we have the sprinting shoes, before we even go into... Um, Crazy Beak, we can actually go do something else as well beforehand. 
Remember the advent calendar? This is also still the same file loadout, so that web is gone. Actually, you know what? I will kill the enemies here, because they're going to be in the way and could ruin me. Alright, I'm cutting all that out, mainly because that I was a uh, waste of my time, because I'm jumping the gun. Uh, what I was trying to do is for the G well, the Grunty Switch I haven't actually hit yet, which is in Freezy's Peaks. It's quite absurd, the adventure of a bear and a bird. I'm having to run around because this guy's going to hit me, but that is what we're going to be doing in the next episode. We're going to be going into Freezy's Peaks, starting off with this level. I feel like that this is one of the levels I can actually knock off in one go, because we've got the boots now, we can actually go get the the uh, Grunty Switch at the end, and we can actually one-shot this level as well. So, I'll see you guys next time for that. See you guys then.